you want it to look like this. See, this is glued and you see no line. Okay, that's how you want it to look. So let's wait. Hey guys, this is Vladi with ACV Build and today I'm gonna show you how to attach bullnose to your stone. Let's get started. Here I've already cut some quartz, if you can see. So it's about an inch and a half or so. You know, the factory comes with inch and a half already, but we must cut some off. So it's gonna be about an inch and three eighths or so, maybe inch and a quarter. So I cut it to the length. Make sure it fits. Make sure it's a nice tight fit because you don't want an ugly uh, bull nose. You want it to look good. All right, now we're gonna prep the area. Make sure it's perfectly clean. We don't want any contamination. We want this thing to bond really well. So make sure you got a lot of acetone. This is just regular acetone. get some of this uh, knife grade epoxy all right this is great stuff for this all right now we match up the color let's put some white in there Let's do a dab of gray. I mean, seriously, a dab. All right, it's almost the same color. Mix it up a little bit more. Now when we add a hardener, it is gonna get a little bit more yellow, so it's gonna give us that final color blend. And that's just some hardener that comes with the epoxy. When you start clamping this piece, guys, don't over tighten it, just snug it. And then one by one, if you do tighten the first one too hard, what happens is you risk of cracking the strip that you cut for your bull nose. That happens a lot more with natural stone, not as much with uh, the quartz, but I wouldn't risk it anyways. Make sure and do it correctly. Give it a once over look, make sure everything's perfect, that nothing slid. Tighten one more time and just let it dry. Okay, now you gotta make sure that you give it sufficient time to dry. If you go too early, it'll start tearing out some of the epoxy and then you'll have a really bad uh, look to it. Now to make sure your bull nose is flat like this, what I usually do is I cut off about a quarter inch. Now you see I have a line on there that I'm gonna cut. I 
I just marked it about a quarter inch in and I'm just gonna cut that off instead of having to try to polish all of that off because there's a lot of times the stone is not totally flush both of the pieces the bottom and the top and this just makes it so much more quicker and it just makes it so much more perfect and it just saves a lot of sandpaper for me as well you don't want to just use that stuff up because that stuff's a little bit more expensive than the blades at least the blades do last a lot longer now this is a stone this is a 40 grid that's what I start out with I just go through and just uh, get rid of any like deep scratches now when you are polishing the stuff you gotta look at it you can't just go over it and assume it's gonna be perfect because what happens what I see happening a lot of times when I let my guys do it they rush it and then they leave some deep scratches when they're on the high grids or the lower numbers and then once they get to the higher grids it's too late the scratches are still really deep and you have to go back and get rid of them and you gotta start all over so now I'm doing a 200 grid now all of these pads I purchased at a local store uh, they're about $23 each or so they are, there are cheaper pads this is a 400 there are cheaper pads that the other uh, stores sell and they are just not as great they're gonna be like five dollars a pad but they're really plasticky and they leave a lot of residue I mean you can try them out this is a 800 you can try them out but they're just not as great you get what you pay for so after 800 uh, this is quartz this is called Calcutta quartz I go as high as 1500 I don't go any higher than that because it just doesn't do anything the only reason why I would go up to 3000 and then buff white or black is when I'm doing like a granite type of stone or marble now I'm just kind of showing you through this piece hasn't been wiped down yet but you can see how it just it just looks great you know there's there's a almost no line and it looks really professional and it's super flat just like I said if you were just gonna polish it and not cut off that quarter inch it would not look as great how to create a bullnose uh, what hey guys right. attach bullnose to your stone Okay, like that, and then I'm gonna walk out. Okay, let's start all over. 